going to look at how to keep mount. First um, week one of the mesocycle, we were looking at how to keep mount. And the guy doesn't know jiu-jitsu, he's trying to push you off. So we looked at five or six different things. He's pushing me off the chest, I'm swimming inside. He's pushing me off at, at my hips. I'm, I'm great fighting on him, removing these hooks. He's pushing at my knees, removing these hooks, getting the high mount. Um, he rolls, right, he rolls the other way, or he pushes me to the side, single neck tie, other way. Okay, so, um, that's really important because obviously you can end up on the ground with people that don't know jiu-jitsu, but as you pro I progress through the weeks of this mesocycle, most of the escapes I showed you um, incorporated or turning on to the side. Okay, so now um, we looked at uh, briefly looked at team out the team out transition over the last few weeks. So again, breaking it down. I'm pinching with my knees. My hand grips on the collar. Carl gets his grips. The second Carl turns on to the side, I'm switching to my knee position. Okay. Or he goes for elbow knee. I'm switching to my team out position. Again, elbow knee. So. Uh, <coughs> my right foot is clamped into Carl's hip. Okay. My left knee is in his back, and both hands are planted on the mat. Okay. Um, if the weight is on my right foot, uh, our main escape is Carl's going to bump his hips this way, okay, and then bring his knee in. Yeah. And from there, he can get into single leg X guard or whatever type of X guard he wants. Okay. Um, grabbing the pants so again. From, from that position, because my weight's on that foot. The second car bumps my hips because the weight's on my foot. He can fill that space with his knee. Okay, so the DT on this is back. And I'm here. When car goes for Upa, and I switch the team out. I put my hands on the mat, but I want all the weight on my hands and my left knee. Okay, I don't want weight on my right, on my right heel. Okay, because when Carl bumps his hips, he fills that space. So from here, as I go back, I want um, I want to be clamping my knee and my foot together. So it's kind of the same analogy of, as of the mount. Remember we talked about the mount? I pinch my knees together. Okay. When I go to T-mount, I'm pinching my knee to my heel, but I have no weight on this. Okay. So when Carl bumps his hips, bump your hips. So when he bumps the hips, I just, I just fill the space. Whereas, if my weight is on my foot and he bumps his hips, my foot stays on the mat, he, he moves his hips backwards, and he's in the position. Okay. So again, one more time. I put all the weight on my hands and my knee. So when he bumps his hips, I just go with him. Okay. That foot just stays like a sensor in his hip. Okay. Um, go back again. A good way of drilling this, um, just close your eyes, okay? Because um, in Jiu Jitsu, we use our eyes so much for uh, learning techniques. But um, once you close your eyes, you're using your other senses um, to judge whether he's turning on those sides. So from here, um, if I close my eyes and car goes for Upa, I can sense when he's turned, okay? And then just go back again. Elbow knee. Sorry. <laughs> so again, I, I can just feel where he turns, okay? So from here, when he ties up that arm, I can feel he's turning this way. Okay? Back again. Uh, me, either, either side, it doesn't really matter what side he goes. And I can just sense when he turns, okay? And the same thing applies, I can add that into the drill. So um, when he ties up an arm, see when he ties up. Um, He's going for it, and he ties up this arm and he ties up the foot. Sometimes people they can't get this foot out to go to team out, so I need to make sure as cars bridging, I'm bringing my knee forward. Okay, I'm bringing this knee forward, which is freeing up my leg here, oh, and then I clamp. Okay, so all the weight's on this knee, on my hands, and I'm clamping my, my knee and foot together. So when car tries to bump the hips. Obviously, when he puts his back in the mud, straight back to mud, and I'm squeezing my knees again. Okay. Oh, yes. 
So the game is changing um, from the guy that knows Jiu Jitsu, he's going to be going for these escapes. But again, you know, out of nowhere he might start pushing and then you have to go back to what you learned in week one. So you've got to put all those skills together, but they're still skills, okay, um, regarding staying on top of the mount. But mainly when you're up against someone who knows Jiu Jitsu, you'll either be in the mount or when they turn on to their side, you'll be in team mount. And again, I'm not going to stay here, obviously, because we know lots of things from here. Go for the arm bars and stuff. Okay, so let's play with that, guys. Getting the team out, keeping team out. <clears throat> 